shall we begin? Star Trek In The Darkness picks up with Kirk, Spock, Bones, Sulu, Scotty, Ahura, and Chekhov off having their adventures in space. When they get back home, tragedy strikes and someone makes an attack on the Federation. This attack was done by our villain, John Harrison, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, who soon attacks the Federation again, and this time there are some personal casualties. So Kirk is pretty pissed off and he wants to get this guy, so it's up to the Enterprise crew to get it done in this big action-packed space adventure. So, I'm in a weird position. Star Trek in the Darkness was my most anticipated film of the year, and I finally got to see it, and I enjoyed it. But, there's that but. And I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I just did not get that kick that the first one gave me. But, before we get into that, let's start off with the good. The performances. The whole cast is back. Chris Pine is good as Kirk, and he definitely gets to show off more range this time around. Zachary Quinto is able to portray the complexities that come with being Spock, and Benedict Cumberbatch makes for an effective villain. And I'm focusing on these three more because they get the most amount of screen time. The rest of the crew is solid, but they do kind of get forgotten about every now and then. But everyone at least has a moment where they get to be cool. And um, but But the one that did actually get the short end of the stick was Bones this time, like... He's not so much a character, but like a walking bag of metaphors. Like, he'll have lines like, Jim, you don't wake a silver dragon on a mountaintop in Idaho while it's raining zombies. That, that's how much his lines made sense to me. With this being a summer movie, you're going to want to have your explosions and other cool effects. And the action in this movie looked really great visually. But I did have a problem with the cinematographer. This guy loves his close-ups, and I'm not talking about like just the action scenes, like when characters are just also talking also, like early on you have like a number of scenes where two characters would just be talking, and the camera is right on their face, and you are so close to the point where it's really uncomfortable. Um, it's less of an issue as the movie goes along, but it was slightly off-putting at first. Um, I do have to commend the movie for balancing itself tonally. Like, this is a serious story, but the filmmakers still want you to have fun with it. So the characters don't exactly crack jokes, you just might laugh every now and then to how they're reacting to a certain situation. Like a couple getting into a fight just before they land on a dangerous planet, and Kirk is like, are you guys really going to do this now? And it, it fits for the most part, but there are some weird scenes early on where you see the villain doing his thing, and the movie will be super serious, and then it'll, Kirk, and then it'll cut to Kirk having a threesome, which was honestly a weird but the comedy throughout the movie is good. Uh, there's this great scene with Chekhov early on where someone tells him to do something, and the look on his face had me laughing so hard, and that was probably my favorite scene in the movie. Um, I, I do actually want to tip my hat to the advertising team for this. Um, I was starting to think that they were showing a little too much of the movie in the commercials, but... They were showing you a lot of stuff, like, out of context, and it's like, wow, I knew that was going to happen, but not like that, or, oh, wow, that's not what I thought that was when watching the trailer. One thing that did bother me was some of the writing. Like, there's a section of the film where everyone's saying the word torpedo a lot, when I thought, okay, this is starting to sound a little silly, and the movie really could have benefited from some punch-up dialogue. Um, another thing that stood out was, I, I swear, I swear, there were three shots in this movie that I, I, I feel like were taken directly from the first movie, which really just took me out of it. Um, but getting back to the positives, um, honestly, the lens flares, they didn't bother me. They rarely do with J.J. Abrams movies. Um, they, they only really stood out to me in one scene where in which Alice Eve was uh, talking to someone on screen, but outside of that, like, I never really found myself distracted by them. And I know I've kind of been back and forth with this movie, but I'm going to clarify again. I did like Star Trek in the Darkness. And this is also a good reason why I don't give numbered scores anymore, because like, I, I would have no idea what to give this. I did like the first one better, but I'll admit that this one actually did a few things better than the first. This movie has a breakneck pace from the very start, and will go by before you consider yawning. Um, this is a good, fun, solid summer movie even if it doesn't give you the kick like the first one did. Anyway, I did see this with a friend who liked it more than I did, so here's his opinion. 
phenomenal movie. Great action movie. Never really let you go, which is awesome. All the characters are solid, again, which is to be expected. They reference a whole bunch of uh, one of the older movies a little bit, which is cool, but it was... Uh, and they didn't do it in a way that was too hard to really see what they were doing if you weren't familiar with movies, like I, I wasn't. But uh, it was still cool to see kind of the homage to it. So yeah, just overall phenomenal action movie. Probably the best action movie I've seen so far this year. And special effects, everything through the roof. Exactly what you would hope to get from a movie like this. Okay. Done. Thank Review. You. My <laughs> part. Over. And if you like this review and you want to see more, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And feel free to comment, tell me your thoughts on the movie. Did you have some, some of the issues that I did? Did you like Star Trek in the Darkness more than the first Star Trek? Uh, share your thoughts.